Hello everyone, this is Nilakshi from Glamand.com and I'm back again this week with the Silver Bronze Smoky Eye Makeup Tutorial. I'm doing this eye makeup being inspired from Deepika Padukone's eye makeup on a recent appearance at ICW. Let me remind you girls, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm doing this in my own way. So please keep on watching to know how I'm creating this look. I'm starting off with moisturizing my face with Emolin. This is the best moisturizer I have ever found at such an affordable price. Next, I'm using MAC Select Moisturizer Cover Concealer in the shade NC45 as an eye primer. I'm applying on all over my lids and also in the inner corner of my eyes. And just dabbing it well with a flat brush from Real Techniques. This tape is very essential because this acts as an eye primer and this will help to last the eye makeup for a longer time. Now I am pressing it with my finger to make sure that everything blends evenly. Next I am using MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC42 on all over my lids and also on the brow bone area so that the eyeshadow colors show off generously. Simply dabbing the product onto my skin with my finger. Now to set the concealer and foundation, I am using MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade NC40 with the puff applicator and pressing it on my lids and on the brow bone area so that it doesn't crease at all. If you have very oily eyelids, then make sure that you apply in generous amount of powder to avoid creasing. Next I am using Maybelline Colossal Coal in the shade Smoked Silver. I'm using this coal on my lid and not going too much near the crease. This step will help to intensify the eyeshadow colors which I'll be using in the following steps. The main panda to get smoky eye is to blend. So I'm blending it in with the base shadow brush from Real Techniques and going in a very light hand. Once again I'm going to apply the same kajal on my lip because I want a little intense color and again repeating the same process by blending it in. Next, I'm using the shade Selfish from the Balm Nude Tute Palette. This is a beautiful gunmetal shade or a silver color with brown undertone. Now, placing the color with the same eyeshadow brush on my lid and again not going too far to the crease. To diffuse the color, I am using Salty from the same palette. This is a warm brown color and it's perfect for diffusing any shades. I am just taking the color over the crease and just blending in and out with Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. Now taking the shade Seductive, this is a bronze color with golden shimmers and applying on the outer one third of the lid and also taking the color over the crease area and simultaneously blending it well with a fluffy blending brush from pack 393. For smoking out the look, I am using the darkest brown color from the same palette and the shade I am using is Slick. 
I am concentrating mainly on the outer V and slowly moving towards the crease area with a pencil brush from pack and the number is 106. Now again I'm going back to the warm brown color that is sultry to make sure that everything is blended properly. I realized that there is a bit lack of the bronze color so once again I picked up the shade seductive and applied it on the outer V and on the crease area as well. To intensify the color on the outer V, I am using the darkest brown once again and this time I am only concentrating on the outer V. I'm not taking any product and using the same fluffy brush to blend the black eyeshadow to make sure that everything is blended properly and there are no harsh lines. To make my lashes fuller, I'm tight lining my upper water lash line with the Faces Longwear Eye Pencil in solid black. This is really an intense black and smudge proof and really long lasting. I'm also applying the same kajal on my upper lash lines in small strokes. And I don't want any precise line because I'm going to blend that out with the black eyeshadow from the same palette and the shade is serious. I'm depositing the black eyeshadow on the lash lines to make sure that the skin doesn't peek through between the lashes. To add more dimension to the eye, I'm using the same black eyeshadow only on the outer V corner with the pencil brush. I'll also mention all the products that I'm using in the description box. Next, I am using the same kajal on my lower water lash line and going in small strokes so that the kajal gets into the lashes and then I am smudging it out with the black eyeshadow under the lower lash lines.
Next, I am curling my lashes and using the L'Oreal Paris Volume Express Mascara. For this look, I need tones of mascara because Deepika had fuller and voluminous lashes at that look and also applying on my lower lash lines. Now I am finished with my eye makeup and next I will conceal my under eye area with the MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer. I am applying it in the triangular shape like this. Also applying the concealer on the places where I have dark spots or patches like near the mouth area, near the side of the nose and simply dabbing it softly with a flat brush. I really like this concealer. It doesn't crease at all and also doesn't make your skin dry. It has sheer to medium coverage so it's daily wearable and it feels absolutely light on your skin. Always conceal your under eye area whenever you do a smoky eye because if you do not conceal your under eye areas, your eyes will look really tired. Next I am using MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This foundation has medium coverage and it's buildable. Though it's buildable but it doesn't feel cakey at all. It has a good staying power as it is waterproof so it's great for summer. Now I am dotting with the expert face brush from Real Techniques on the cheeks and then blending it out in a circular motion so that everything gets blended evenly. Also dotting with my finger on my forehead and once again on my cheeks and again blending it well. This looks a little lighter on my skin tone but after a couple of minutes it settles down with my complexion. I would not recommend this to those who have very oily skin. Also applying under the jaw lines on the neck area as well so that the face color and the neck color doesn't look different. Next setting everything with MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder and I'm using a large foundation brush from Real Techniques to set the foundation. I'm going with my cheeks and mainly the places where I get oily like my T-zone part. This is the place where oil secretion occurs and you need to deposit a good amount of face powder. Next moving to the contouring, I am using Bama Mama bronzer from the Balm. This has a greyish undertone so it's perfect for contouring and it shows natural on face as you can see here. I am applying it on the hollow of my cheeks starting from my ears and moving towards the middle of my cheeks. To avoid any harsh lines, I am blending it well by moving the brush back and forth like this. Also contouring the jaw lines under the chin area, at the top of my forehead which is right below the hairline and also on the temples of my forehead. Since I have bigger forehead, this will give an illusion to look smaller. Also contouring the sides of my nose to look more slimmer. Next for my cheeks, I am using Hot Mama Shadow Blush from the Balm. It's a peachy color with pink undertone and has fine golden shimmers in it. I am applying it on the apple of my cheeks with the buffing brush from Real Techniques. Since I applied concealer after I have done my eye makeup, so to avoid any harsh lines, I am smudging out the kajal on the lower lash line once again. Now for grooming my brows, I am using Oriflame Beauty Color Pro Eyeshadow Trio in the shade Smoky Brown with an angled brush again from Real Techniques. I'm using the dark brown shade for filling in my brows. If by mistake anything goes wrong like this, then don't worry, you can fix that out with a concealer. Apply concealer wherever you have got messed up and lightly blend that out with a brush or a sponge. Now it's time to highlight my face. I am using Mary Luminizer from the Balm and dotting it with my finger on my cheeks and blending it in. Also highlighting the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow, on my chin and also above the eyebrows. I am going in a very light hand and lastly on the brow bone area. Next moving to the lips, 
I am wiping off the excess lip balm that I have applied before I started the makeup. Now using Lakme 925 liner in the shade beige pink to line my lips. This is nude brown shade for people with dusky complexions like me. I am applying it on my entire lips to cover the dark patches and it will also make the lip color pop up. For my lip color, I'm using MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Retro. Now, this is a beautiful peachy brown shade and I just love this shade a lot. I especially recommend this shade to Duskier Beauties. It's an everyday wearable shade and texture-wise, it's very creamy, doesn't make your lips dry and superbly pigmented and also lasts for a longer hours on me. I tried to make a similar hairstyle done by Deepika but then I realized that I forgot to apply the highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. So I am quickly finishing it off with the same highlighter which I have used before. Now this is how I recreated Deepika Padukone's look at ICW 2016. If you find this video helpful then give a big thumbs up and also if you recreate this look then tag me on Instagram so that I can see how we have created this look. For that you need to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and our blog. All the links will be given below in the description box. For more updates please subscribe to our channel and also comment us down below. Till then stay good and stay fresh. Bye.